it's okay. Yeah, maybe just a tiny bit uh, that way. <coughs> so uh, this is what I wanted us to start with uh, today. Uh, this, this is, oh yeah, and now you're going to make it harder than it needs to be. So, uh, and the blue sheep, the mind of my heart. Oh, and we have a whole team today. Wonderful. I'm very uh, Yeah, I asked the other people uh, last week if it's okay if we record this fragment of our lesson today. Uh, no, you won't be able to, or they won't be able to see your faces, just your voices. Uh, okay. So, uh, are you okay with, uh, yeah, with sure. that? I am. Okay. Great, right, thank you. So yeah, this is what I wanted, uh, or this is where I wanted us to begin uh, today. Uh, and uh, could you like read it, uh, and uh, so that the people who are listening to us or are watching us will know what we're talking about. What school should teach students? Uh huh. And what does it say that school should teach students? How to grow food. Seed saving, food preservation, medical herbs, foraging. Foraging. Uh huh. Do you know uh, what foraging is? No. No. Right. Mushroom ID. Okay. So before you before you continue, <laughs> I just wanted to explain what foraging is. So uh, foraging is uh, this sort of situation where you like go to the forest or meadows or anywhere uh, in the nature, and you like pick food big things that are edible, oh. so uh, like forest fruit or, or... It's kind of harvesting? Well, it's not harvesting. Harvesting is where you grow food okay. and then uh, collect it. Foraging so is like... Collecting already grown food. Yeah, so like mushroom hunting or picking blueberries from the forest or, or raspberries or I don't know what else can eat, like... Uh, pine cones some people make some syrups with 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 okay. pine i don't know uh i'm not an expert on foraging but i know what it is so uh yeah what else is there on the list um mushroom id first aid water con conservation waste management right so this is the question uh that i wanted us to start the class with i'm gonna put it over here can people read it I think they do. Uh, kind of. Not really. Not really. No, okay. No, so like this. Okay. Yes. Now they do. More or less. Good <laughs> enough. Um, so uh, what do you think about it? It's it's kind of kind of look like they think we should learn how to survive on an island on like a. You know, <laughs> right, so uh, in case there is a, a zombie attack or, or a third world war, this is, uh, this is a, place, uh, a place to start. Uh, so what do you think about it? Is it like sensible content for people to, uh, to learn? Or it's just a crazy idea of some preppers who are just getting ready for, um, for apocalypse? Oh. Mm. We don't have apocalypse right now, and it not look like we will have and. Oh, we will I mean, yeah, the greenhouse effect, global die. warming. But more people in the world will be born than. I mean, uh, whatever. Like, uh, as uh, our Lord and Savior Matyarevit said, who will die, will die, mm -hmm. and. <laughs> Right. So, in your opinion, it's, it's not. I mean, I will die in a zombie apocalypse. Well, yeah, like eventually we are gonna die. No, no, eventually I would die first. You'd be one of the first, okay? Uh, why would you just? Did you look? Did you look at my shoes? I haven't seen your shoes. No. Okay. I would it's not. Wonderful run. leather shoes. I mean, yes, the the one actually are okay, like mm -hmm. okay, but in most of my shoes, I would not run. I right. was not run. Right. Okay, so we're sharing shoes. Oh. oh yeah, so they would you catch you like first. Like. That's for sure. Okay, so let's put it away. The zombie apocalypse is like it's a possibility, let's say, but I, maybe I not like the. <laughs> okay, so let's let's hear uh, Eva's opinion. Um, I think if they are teaching right now in schools things like, if you get stabbed in the stomach, you have to 
get your get get your guts in the bag mm -hmm. <laughs> then this information wouldn't be so it would fit mm -hmm. in my opinion so all right so but what do you mean it would fit because uh, like we started with sort of a joke right about the zombie apocalypse like and i know this is because a hollywood the, scenario this, but like what do you feel these are information that aren't necessarily going to be used in everyday life mm -hmm. but if we are learning about uh, like in i don't know at the back Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it. <laughs> right, so it, all of someone's calling. I forgot to turn it up. Well, it's going to record it with the, with the call. You can, or I can actually turn it off. Yeah, this is a very good lesson of uh, what you should not do as a teacher. Turning off your phone is a smart idea. Right, so things like first aid, but also basics of health and how to manage your I'm health. I'm not sure if those information aren't in the program. Already, maybe not all, but some mm -hmm. probably. For example, about the mushrooms, I am one hundred percent sure that I've seen this as a um, interesting fact in right. the, in the book. So yeah. Right. Well, the question is, can you learn things like that from a book, like how to grow food or how to forage? Like you'll never learn how to distinguish edible plants from not edible ones. But learning about it from the book, you have to go and, and do it. That's kind of like creepy. That's kind of like who will die. That, right? no, don't matter. I mean, the thing is that I wanted to say something. No, you, you actually can learn like uh, from book how to grow food or like uh, things like that. Uh, think when you have a book it will increase your probability to survive mm -hmm. and do this i don't say that food will be good mm -hmm. or that you will be 100 percent sure that it's okay but mm -hmm. you can learn it okay uh i'm not so sure again i'm not an expert on but bushcraft and survival skills, uh, I'm not, uh, but I think that it would be like, I know some, uh, some uh, plants and some things that are very, very similar to things that are not edible. And if you don't like literally go in there and kind of try to distinguish the edible plants from not the edible ones, it's really hard to, um, to, to distinguish one from another but so this is one thing we can disagree on that but i heard you guys say that in your opinion it's not like the basic uh knowledge skills that everyone should have and even i want to um uh, ask you about that do you think that learning how to preserve water or learning how to uh prepare food and uh, and forage is not stuff that everybody uh, should know how to do i think that's everyone should okay because it's hmm. yeah because what pretty helpful in your life it's <laughs> good for the world surrounding us and it's pretty basic stuff actually okay but my problem with that answer because many people think that way is that uh, like pretty basic stuff this is pretty basic stuff to do with biology, but uh, you can I can imagine a guy or like an IT specialist coming over. Yeah. I mean, didn't you say that you were depressed? Don't you wanna die? What? Nothing. Okay. So, anyways, a question. Uh, I can imagine a guy like an IT specialist or. Uh, some chemistry teacher or some, I don't know, maths teacher coming over and saying, okay, this is like the basic stuff. You really have to learn that. And my question is, how do you decide if something is basic knowledge or not? And in the it's, society. Yeah, I want to ask you that. Uh -huh. It's easy to learn. Like, there is not much philosophy in it. Mm -hmm. Like, just save water. Like, that's mm -hmm. all. Don't use it too much and it's helping 
to the environment if we're not wasting water and we are, we are not going to run out of it so soon. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to learn, but it's doing much good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so would you say that, did I get you right? Do you mean that the stuff that is worth learning is only the stuff that is easy to learn? Yeah, I mean basics. Like, you oh. know. No, I don't. I, I, I'm really actually quite... Because this is a post that one of teachers who I respect a lot posted, <coughs> and she actually thinks that this is like basic knowledge that everyone should get. And I sort of disagree with her, but I, um, I wonder what's your opinion? Not all of it should... I, I don't mean that everything out of those things mm -hmm. is basic stuff, but you know, I mean... If it's like saving water, like mm -hmm. helping environment, is it, everyone should do it basically, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think that's yeah, it's you know, basically it's hard to explain. Okay. Like, <coughs> what Can is I ask it? you something? Uh, do you think that we as a society, even in not like a apocalyptic uh, world, should like a um, save water from rain, like? Oh, why not? Yeah, like water conservation. <coughs> this is this is one of the things that uh, we people, the, the city boys and girls, we don't do it. We, we don't even oh. think about it, uh, actually, because it's all done for us. Like there is... Uh, um, I, I agree. I just wanted mm -hmm. to ask you. Mm -hmm. But w what's what's your take on that? I mean, I do you agree live in a flat or, or yes, in a house? Yes, I live in a flat, right. but so I have like... A, like a, I am on the... The most like a basic on the ground floor. Yes, yes. The ground floor. And mm -hmm. we have a garden, so we can save water. Right, and do you? No. Do you, <laughs> you don't conserve water. Why not? I don't know, but I think we should start. Maybe, maybe someday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what do you think about it? Mm, I think if uh, like about saving water. I mean, about the skills. Like, do you f feel that this is something that? Uh, everyone should know about uh, because something i mean i can think of a number of reasons why it's important uh, knowledge but the question is is it something that everyone should know uh, stuff that should be taught at school i don't know i think um, it wouldn't hurt anybody mm -hmm. but if i'm being honest if i would have a lesson about an uh, ideaing mushrooms mm -hmm. I would probably skip <laughs> so <laughs> yeah about the water uh, conservation conservation I think that would uh, that could be maybe interesting about uh, like uh, thinking about the environment and more of a eco learning and all of that mm -hmm. which we are al al <laughs> already right. learning mm -hmm. So yeah, and um, I don't know what what. Uh, we had uh, how to grow food, food preservation. So like you know, making pickles and stuff. Um, some of those uh, best <coughs> aid we had al already. Mm -hmm. And c would you be able to uh, give someone uh, a CPR? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had like. Uh, lessons about it a couple of times mm -hmm. so I remember sort of mm -hmm. what, what, what it's about uh, but I don't know how, how I would act in this situation but yeah I am probably like able to say what, what you are supposed to do mm -hmm. uh, how to grow food no way I don't have you ever grown anything like anything even is, tomato is there, in your room is there like more to it than putting a seed in the <laughs> guys what do you think eva is asking a very good question is there more to it than just putting a seed in the soil it depends probably i mean yeah. i mean i know i know that you have to like um water it and some some things grow in some soil and the other don't <laughs> but i don't know <laughs> right guys have you ever grown anything in your life 
And I don't mean like a bean sprout uh, in the yes, kindergarten. Yes, in the But if, if like a kindergarten kids can do it, why not we? Like, we can grow... Uh, we we yeah, will survive beans. at beans in the apocalypse. Yeah, beans are like, you that. know, uh, the, the cockroaches of the plant world. They can grow anywhere <laughs> and it's like almost impossible to kill them. I think I grow with my grandparents the... Um, the like the red the mm. red one the, the the red beans no 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 so beans the the red r- radish like no. the little red balls no. that are spicy pomidori tomatoes tomatoes I mean mm-hmm. I was not know that word I just don't remember right. it okay um, did you succeed in growing tomatoes yes those are pretty challenging yes they are uh, hard to do it but right now my grandfather parents don't have like a the the place when you can grow tomatoes like greenhouse gla- greenhouse greenhouse yes and and I'm sad because I like tomatoes right well you can do it at home I mean it's not easy but you could all right now say how about you have you ever grown anything like I don't think so like mm-hmm. I helped to grow some stuff in my garden like I helped my mom but Mm -hmm. I haven't grown anything on my own right so uh, if you got some seeds do you think you'd be able to do it like without instructions I'm not sure but right maybe okay so well you can get instructions like it's the internet era but um, um, the question is would you like know what to do when there is you know too much water or not enough water or if there is too much sun or not enough sun to get the right soil for the right plant i mean i wouldn't okay yeah that's that that's what i uh, that's what i meant uh so anyways this is one perspective now what they like you to do and take one and pass it on this is a, a second perspective and it's it's actually a letter that i'd like you guys to read and um, tell me, wh- what do you think about it? How does the snail look? It's purple. What? <laughs> Snails are cute, how dare they? I'm gonna google this to send me to New York since it's it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, check it out. Did you google it? What? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. Yeah, I don't think that it's. You are ready? Nothing. You're. So you want to Google the the smallest so, lizard? So, uh, oh my God! Oh. What does it look like? I don't think that it's. Oh. I don't think. Oh. Oh. <coughs> I don't think that this is. It um, might not be. It well, just go, Google smallest lizard Dominican Republic, and it should pop. It's my guess. It's less than two centimeters. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, it's tiny. Yeah. Oh my god. Show, show my picture. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, um, 
So we have those two perspectives. On on the one hand, there is uh, there is the teacher that I told you about who thinks that learning about the nature, learning how to grow food, how to preserve food, how to conserve water are crucial skills that uh, people should have nowadays. And then there is this guy who wrote the letter. Like, what's what's his point? What is he trying to you know, to say here? Ignacio, go ahead. That's... We are sacrificing too much mm -hmm. to preserve some rare species mm -hmm. of, like, you know, uh, plants and animals, basically. Right. Uh, and what do you think about it? Is it true that we're just going crazy and we stop building bridge because there is some tiny little lizard living in the, in the meadows? Like that was, it wasn't a lizard, it was actually a bird. And they didn't build uh, the, the bridge on uh, Trasa Sikierkowska uh, for <coughs> like 15 years because there was some bird living uh, next to Vistela River. And they stopped building the, the bridge because of that. <coughs> there is a lot of other bridges we are being <laughs> Right. We have the one, I think we can name. <laughs> well, it, now it's there, but it hasn't been there for many, many years. And, you know, what is worse for the environment? Like, is it is it worse to have a, a bridge built in, in the habitat of some bird? Or is it worse to have all the traffic go through the city, city center and produce even more uh, pollution and even more carbon dioxide and even more um, traffic and accidents uh, that, that goes along with it? I think that uh, preserving endangered animals uh, is important, but of course, like like with everything, mm -hmm. we need to um, have a perspective perspective for it and just not go crazy. But if there is four bridges and not five, like what what is the difference really? And yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly the question I wanted to ask. How do you decide? How do you know that four bridges are better than five or five bridges are better than four when you put a, a, a life of, uh, of, of some bird on the scale? Like, how, how would you decide, Roja? Like, do you think you have the skills to decide which is more sensible, which is better for the environment, for the planet, for, I, just, I don't know, people in Warsaw? How do you make decisions like this? I think that as long as it's not some revolutionary uh, progress of humanities and, and science, the life of bar, bird or even snail is important because mm -hmm. it's more important. Okay, but how do you make the decisions? How do you know? I, I don't know because I think it's be I think it's better to um, go more of the saving the planet and the animals way than just not caring about it and building like buildings or bridges mm -hmm. or yeah. new architectural stuff <laughs> uh, infrastructure infrastructure yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, uh, I think it's better to to yeah to go crazy mm -hmm. about the the animals. The environment. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But how do you make the decision? Because you know, I I can imagine a guy who comes over and says we have to stop all the traffic because you're killing so many insects when traveling on the highway. We, we can't use cars because look what happens on your windshield. What? There is so many... Well, I know it's ridiculous, but how do you decide? But it wouldn't happen. Like, no, nobody would say that. Okay, and but if, if how do you decide did, if something is... If they did, <laughs> the reaction would be as mine was. Like, it's... It's not as dramatic. Okay. For, like for say, you saying that uh, we should uh, care about the animals and um, I don't know like and about the environment is not um, I don't know how to mm -hmm. say that um, uh, 
kind be compared can be compared to uh, like not driving a car because you will ki- kill an ant mm-hmm. um, okay in your opinion but again i'd like us to okay. kind of try to I pinpoint think... the moment where or the the method in which you can uh, actually decide whether something is a sensible idea or uh, just a ridiculous uh, concept of some eco-freak who's who wants to live in the jungle um with uh, with the gorillas Ignacy, but, uh-huh, okay uh-huh. listen um we are living like m- we free like okay right now like where are cars we <laughs> mm-hmm. we live in a society right <laughs> and are. and we shouldn't stop it we shouldn't stop anything but when we see that life, any life, is on the on the like a, on you you have to sacrifice at stake, at, at stake mm-hmm. on doing something new. Like we we should like think about it more. Mm-hmm. Like for example, we shouldn't like burn everything down because of we killing ants but if something killings like a lot of lives of course we should stop it like i don't think that cutting trees for a snail is like the best thing yeah. ever so how do you decide there is the snail and there are the trees it's life like, yes but when our but, but the snail could live without cutting a tree I and guess it can't. This is the this is the I idea. Yes, it, it can't. But like, <laughs> why interview right now? Why intervene? Inter- intervene. What the? <laughs> <laughs> why intervene right now? When you listen, well, in the second situation with a lizard, they they were building some something to like. Um, and they stop it because of the mm-hmm. lizard, right? Yeah, so the, they so, wanted to build some infrastructure and they stopped yes. because they learned that there was this lizard who, uh, or which, lived we, over there. We shouldn't ruin stuff for life. We should, like, uh, not, <laughs> not ruin stuff or build something for life. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. stop things. And, oh, I'm stupid today. I'm sorry, I didn't stick You're not. Well. And also the camera might uh, put a little bit of attention. No? I mean, I had, I was going through an actor, actor, like an acting classes, acting classes for mm-hmm. seven years. Okay, so. so it doesn't bother you that much. All right, so Ignacy, one last question uh, for you. Would you say that you have the skills and the mm, knowledge that would allow you to make a conscious decision um, whether driving to, with your family to uh, the seaside is eco-friendly and a sensible idea or not and maybe you should take a, a train or, or fly or whatever how do you decide whether uh, the decision you make is a smart one, a sensible one I mean, I could decide if it's good or not in your example, but I don't think that like I could do this all the time. You know, like, it's pretty hard. But yeah, if I like to go to the seaside, of course, I train is more eco friendly. It uses less fuel or you know just power. Mm-hmm. Um, but like you said, like with those insects on highways, I mean. Yeah, it is killing them. Mm. It is harmful to the nature, but mm-hmm. at the same time, the highways are very useful for people. And basically, without them, it's hard to function. Right. And the question is, how do you decide if something is okay or relatively okay to do or not? Like, uh, mm. I told you that I'm going to Greece next month, and would it be more eco-friendly to fly or to drive or I don't know how, how do I get there? Do you want to drive to Greece? I could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, walking would be the most eco-friendly <laughs> thing to do, but I don't think that my seven-year-old daughter would like it to Greece. Um, like, but how, how many... Uh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry, you, you want to say something smart. <laughs> I want to ask how many times it would come. How to... much time? Yes. Well, you have Google, so you can see how long it would take to walk there. I think we should do as we feel is okay. Like, but how? How do I know? I don't just, know things. I, I don't know. Like, just realistically looking at uh, what are our options and how we feel about it, and just having in the back of our head that we. Uh, that it would be nice to care about the environment mm -hmm. and uh, yeah maybe not like i think that everyone should do as they want to do and um, obsessing over some stuff is not necessarily helpful to anything and we live in a world World, 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 <laughs> world uh -huh. uh, where even if we would go to Greece on foot, it wouldn't change anything, to be mm -hmm. honest. Well, if it's one decision, probably it wouldn't, but you know, it's even always if the our question whole of. lifetime would be about not using a car, not using, I don't know, any processed food, or we would do everything like an eco freak. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't make a difference, in my opinion. Okay. Um, and this is a question, right? This is why I think uh, it's partially right that the teacher uh, wants to uh, teach uh, her kids about uh, things like that, because then they can decide consciously. Because honestly, I can't. I don't know if what you're saying is true. It wouldn't or it would make a difference. Maybe. And I don't know how to make that decision. This is, and it makes me really frustrated not knowing and not being sure that the, the fact that I'm flying, because I'm flying to, uh, to Athens, uh, is actually me killing the environment. It would be better if I drove, because I could theoretically, but I can't decide in the long term which is better. So, uh, Rose, how long would it take me and my family to walk to Athens? 366 hours. 366 hours, so this is like uh, two weeks, yeah, okay. two weeks. So without like a... Without, without breaks. Yes. Right, so but it would know, take me like a month. Do you know that in ancient Athens mm -hmm. there was like a tradition of like a making people like throwing people out of town if majority of like there was I don't know once a year or, or something uh, like uh, voting for who will a poll. be ostracized mm -hmm. right uh, are you suggesting that you want to kick me out from the no. community I'm well, sorry no I, I just I, I watch <coughs> contra points videos I just wanted to all right I'm not a very good artist though but I want to ask you do you know uh, the name of this animal an ant, right. And the other word is like when you want to enumerate things like this mm -hmm, and that. And da, da, da. Uh, there's a very similar word that sounds different though. And. And, yeah. Remember, in English, you do not want to devoice the, the last sound because instead of having the word and, you have the word ant. Um, like uh, the, the stuff you eat is called what? like things the preservation of food food as opposite to food right yeah so um be careful because some of you uh confuse that Sorry. yeah that, that's cool the, the other that in the other time it was perfect you said food but when when you get like really fast um the, the voicing does happen so guys, thank you very much for this part. Uh, in a minute, uh, we're going to watch a short video on something that is called toxic tourism. 
and uh, that's what I'd like us uh, to, uh, to learn about, uh, that is how bad actually our decisions uh, for the environment are and whether me going to Greece um, for, the, uh, for the time um, is actually killing the planet or not. That's, that's so sad because like it's not your fault, it's that, I mean, I hate the fact that so many of like uh, environmental, uh, environmental uh, <coughs> institutions and people that wants to make the planet be safe, no, blame like a middle class person instead of blaming the people that own the, <laughs> yes, the people that own the fucking airline. Well, anyways, we're going to learn about it in, in just a minute. And now uh, let's take a break, the, the five minutes, and, uh, and we'll come back to a discussion on uh, the top will sectors. You, will you like yeah, let's stop, stop it. it. Okay. Thank you. How did it feel?